Hi everyone, welcome to Fire Soltaro. Um, today I feel called to do a collective reading for all the viewers that needs this message. So I'm going to be looking first into the current energy um, you're in. Of course, this is a collective reading, so only take the messages that uh, will apply for you. Uh, everything else that's not for you, just uh, let it go and um, it's probably for somebody else. Uh, but I'm going to tap into checking first what's happening uh, in your energy um, and then uh, any um, any message that spirits want to bring to you. Um, so anything that at all that um, uh, needs to be now, um, let's say, uh, you know, uh, any message that needs to be given to you um, through this reading. So I hope uh, this will uh, be helpful to anyone who needs it at this moment. So please be connect me to the energy of everybody that's watching this video. And um, help me giving them the most accurate reading for all that they need to um, get these messages. Alright, so first I'm going to check uh, what's currently happening. As I split... I see the tower and the hermit. So um, you might currently feel like you want to withdraw from the outside world because something might have upset you. But uh, let's uh, let's check it out better. Like something might have a bit shaken up uh, your own uh, energy or your own um, stability, your sense of stability. But let's see. Let's see what. Uh, What's happening? Strength. I'm going to take a few more. Hold on. Here we go. So let's see. What's happening currently um, in the viewers uh, energy? What kind of energy do, do the viewers embody currently? Knight of Cups. Of wands. Let me see. What currently are the energies? There you go. Ace of Cups, reverse. And the Six of Cups. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm uh, getting here. I see you as um, um, this Empress in the Strength card. So um, you are applying yourself to... Um, Taming your fears and your um, insecurities. This is how I see the lion in this particular reading. You are uh, trying to tame uh, everything that's, um, you know, kind of making you feel uh, that uh, is destabilizing you. And, um, and I see you, though... Um, being very much in the spotlight currently, like you actually have uh, done uh, something that uh, has brought you a lot of success, uh, or at least um, sort of you are in the public eye in some way, in a way or another. It could be just even at work. It could be that you are um, basically um emerging you know from the crowd in terms of um in one way or another you you're very visible currently it could be from to your boss you know it could be that your boss is uh, watching you as you work and uh, sort of admiring your qualities at work and that's um going to bring you further success um so i see you uh, very proud of yourself for uh, what you're uh, achieving or trying to achieve um, in your own personal uh, goals. And I see somebody coming towards you with an offer of love. And um, 
in a way you're not even looking like in a way you're very busy within your own uh, life you're very busy um keeping at bay anything that uh, that could be um bringing an impediment in your progress with this um with this taming the beast the beast within yourself your demons your um, the things that you need to fight within yourself that uh, could uh, create obstacles for your pro progress in life and i see um this person coming towards you with this cup now as you look at the cup you are uh, worried that th this is a false um, promise of love because the cup here is in reverse as you look at it and so you are kind of afraid of the fact that um this either way like take it as it resonates it could be either that uh, you're currently dating somebody and you might have this doubt that this could be like um sort of like a false promise of love or a false uh, a false um offer of love or else um this will apply as a prediction like you when you will be dating this person that's coming towards you you might fear that this is a false start in terms of love and yet i see this uh, six of cups at the bottom of the deck that came up which um, shows that, that there is a soul connection here so there is a soul bond with this person and that uh, you two um, actually do share or will share um, a sweet loving connection so um, uh, for what i can see here probably this is what you're trying to tame your fear um this is uh, explaining what's happening you know for you but let's clarify with uh, some tea leaf cards so i'm going to clear out the tarot spread just to make space for the tea leaf cards okay so spirit please uh, let me see now what is currently happening in uh, in the viewer's life and again, only take the messages that will resonate with you. Unicorn. So you are currently using your intuition to bring uh, positive changes in your life. You are going to try to tap into your intuition fully. Ink pot. Problems to be resolved. So you feel like um, there are many things that you need to look after currently, many problems to resolve, many things that uh, are waiting um, to be looked after in your life. You feel like um, possibly even uh, a feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all these things that um, are piling up on you, responsibilities, um, things to do, uh, your to-do list never ends. This is the feeling I'm getting here. Or shoe, good luck, but there is good luck coming for you. So um, there is something positive that's going to um, take place, like a, a like a, uh, a. I heard a, dr a drift of good luck. So take it as as you will. I just, you know when I hear something, I just say it because broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem okay so um there has been um, something that you have tried to resolve that uh, you still feel like is is unresolved and uh, and so you feel like you need to rebuild and uh, you know i see this bridge being broken so you need to rebuild in that um, direction in order to make progress let's see boat money prosperity you see this fell right on the horseshoe money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall so you're going to have uh, though a, a positive windfall of uh, money coming in for you and you're going to make uh, then this is going to make you feel um, like you're winning um, you might even uh, get uh, money or a property through inheritance Let's see more what's happening in the viewer's life. Mice, discord among friends or family. So 
there is something that's upsetting you in terms of um, discord that they're experiencing. Uh, so you might have experienced uh, some uh, disagreements with uh, be between either some family or some friends with some family or friends, and um, and clearly this um, this is kind of um, upsetting you. What else the full year lion time to act? Yeah, I think this is in relation to the um, to the things that you feel uh, the problems that are unresolved, to the things that you need to repair. And uh, again, there is the lion. So um, I see you trying to get into your uh, masculine side and, um, and trying to put everything in line in order to resolve it. So uh, kind of tackling one thing after the other um, by tapping into your masculine energy of action. Let's see more. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way, a change is coming. So if you felt like um, some things were stuck and not changing uh, for you, this is actually just sort of an illusion, um, change is coming. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Now this could be also a positive chain of events. You know, it doesn't have to be necessarily something negative. This is just a chain of events that will make bring this change. Yeah, bring this change. I see this as a, a clarification of the caterpillar. Chair empty. Someone is living your life. Okay, so there is somebody that's um, going to live your life. Um, it might be positive if there was discord and you needed to clear out like some energy from your life. Um, and uh, that's happening. Let's see what else. Key. successful outcome to your problems yeah so i see this um this very positive su success succession sorry of events that's going to make you feel like things are resolving let's take one more um from another pile here of tillis vulture depression anxiety worry that someone is against you yeah you you have um Yes, it's in regards to the mice, the people that you have been uh, having um, some disagreement with. So you are uh, feeling a bit down and, and anxious because you're worried that somebody is against you. Let's see some more. Rainbow, though. The most difficult part of the situation is over, so um, don't be worrying. Um, this is coming to an end and I see a lot of positivity coming up for you. This is, um, this is what's happened. And this is what's coming. So there is definitely a, a shift that I can see here. Okay. Um, let me now clear it out and get you more messages. Okay, so I have here the good tarot now because I want to clarify what that, um, what that offer of love uh, is all about. So... Please, Spirit, uh, let me gather the most information, the most accurate information for uh, the viewers about this uh, offer of love that's either coming in their life or it's already in their life and um, what is it all about. Okay, let's get the messages. What is this offer of love? Six of water. So the six of cups comes out again. I see a soulmate um, coming in your life, or it's already in your life. It's a true um, bond, you know, it's a honest, genuine love. So, something to nurture. Six of Earth. So, six, six. You might be seeing 66. Um, with the sixth of earth, um, this person wants to bring uh, an equal exchange of energy. So they want a fair treatment for themselves and for you. Um, so I see it as a very positive, um, so far, a positive spread in terms of what they want to bring. Let's see more. The queen of air. So um, let me clarify because I want to see if you are the queen of air in this equation. The world, you might be coming from um, a distance, like you might be coming from different countries, 
states, towns, cities. So you might live at, at a distance from this person, like a physical distance. Um, let me check the bottom of the deck, the magician. I see this as your person that want to manifest uh, something, bring something forward to you. Uh, they are in a very active energy, I think, towards you. I think this, this is you, the queen of air. You are, a, you are um, in, a, in alert, let's put it that way. You are not, uh, like, you, you do feel this um, soulmate bond or, or you will feel this soulmate bond. And you also want this fair exchange, uh, but you're making sure that uh, the, this person is going to treat you right. So you have your wisdom that you have acquired through your, your experiences. And you're not going to, let's say, like, let down your guard so easily because um, something clearly took place in your past. You see, the queen of air is a queen of experience. Um, life has gone through for her and um, has taught her not to be immediately um, kind of um, believing every single thing necessarily. Like, I mean, you do believe, but, uh, but then at the end of the day, you double check. That's what I mean. You double check that, um, that what, what is brought to you is actually for real, uh, that you can trust uh, this person. So this is what I see you in, in this spread as energy. Your energy is um, on guard. It's, um, like you, you, it's not that you want to be um, overly protective, but uh, you definitely have had your experiences that uh, made you understand that you need to protect yourself anyway, regardless, uh, just to make sure that uh, the, the treatment is fair towards you. Okay, now I've, I've taken uh, the... Everyday Witch Tarot, because I want to clarify the Magician a little bit further. Investigate a bit more about this Magician that's coming up here. It's somebody very with a very intense uh, um, eye stare that I can see. So when they will look in your eyes, um, it's going to be a strong connection. They might have light uh, colored hair. Um, sorry, light colored, I mean, <laughs> I meant light colored uh, eyes. Sorry. Let's see. So clarify the magician. Two cups. Okay, so this person, uh, it's, uh, it, it either feels already love for you, like a strong bond, or will feel the strong bond, uh, loving bond with you. So it seems uh, like a genuine feeling here. You know, it's, it comes through as a genuine connection. Something very heartfelt. What else? Clarify the magician. The fool. Yeah, this person really wants to jump in and uh, get this uh, going. The queen of swords again. Look at this. This is you. Yes, you're uh, definitely in this energy of uh, protecting yourself. You've been hurt in the past and uh, therefore you have... Uh, your uh, sword up and uh, yes you are going to listen to what uh, this person is bringing but uh, regardless you are um, currently in this um, very strong energy of protection self-protection so you are watchful uh, at the bottom i see the ace of pentacles okay so this person wants to bring a concrete, uh, solid start of uh, a relationship with you, for what I can see. Uh, they feel very enthusiastic about it. I can see through this full card with the, you know, with the hands up. So they have their eyes on you, definitely. Um, I see, oh, you know, actually, a, not a knock. I see a... Hold on, an eagle. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, I see an eagle at the back, which, uh, actually two of them, uh, which shows um, that, uh, you know, it's like, um, you know, the eagle is watching the prey. Um, it's basically, this person's got their eyes on you and they're watching you and they uh, they definitely have um, a strong interest. They are very watchful too, for what I can gather here. Okay. Okay, so um, now I'm going to tap into the 
angel numbers so I'm, I'm tapping into the angels angelic presence that uh, is currently assisting with this reading and um, I want to ask what is the message for the viewers with these angel numbers so please uh, give me the most accurate message for the viewers that are watching this video I'll take more than one. I'll take at least three. And at the bottom, okay, so I want to read the first the energy of the bottom of the deck. So um 999 lessons learned. Yes, definitely. With the Queen of Swords, you have learned a lot of lessons in life. Culmination, results, benefits, reflection and, com and completion. Take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive towards your goal. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it and the reward goes to you. So yes, um, you went through a lot of lessons and uh, you have learned a lot and therefore you are uh, now completing this old cycle of your life and reaping the rewards as we saw with the, all the tea leaf cards that were talking about uh, a windfall um, of abundance coming to you with the rainbow card and all so um, yes this is coming and uh, you made it and the reward goes to you uh, the viewers so um, this is a very important message I think uh, very relevant uh, that's uh, coming up uh, repeatedly in this um, reading let's have a look at the first message that came up so 2112 it's up to you someone watching over you good fortune unforeseen forces and direction even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful, meaningful progress Things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. So again, another positive message about uh, you reaching a point of culmination where you are getting what you are desiring. So there are unforeseen forces, forces that you cannot see right now, but someone is watching over you. And I think this is the angelic uh, presence watching over you and in, uh, in bringing you positive results and there is good fortune coming your way so uh, even if it seemed like you weren't progressing you are then uh, actually progressing and there is um, something really positive coming soon uh, 3333 three, three, three. so if you have been seeing this number this is definitely a you know, confirmation for you social skills Hope, optimism, liberation, success, prosperity, excitement, enthusiasm. So as you, excuse me, as you can see this prosperity, it's repeating many times in these uh, messages that are coming through. The problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be about to change. It is time to put to use your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Don't let your ego get the best of you. So, yes, this is a very important message um, because the ego wants to protect us. Uh, but sometimes the ego can get in the way of uh, things that we actually want to achieve, uh, making us uh, get, um, you know, let's say, too uh, prideful and... Um, and kind of get stuck in our ways and so be mindful of that because you know there is a some very big change coming into your life and it's going to be very uh, positive so it's going to change the outlook that you're going to have on your own life and then one zero one one take action hope new beginning fresh start lifestyle purpose spiritual awakening this is a call to action to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. 
those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. So we saw it with the lion and take action again. This is a call to action to uh, tackle everything that you need to in order to reach uh, your goals, in order to accomplish what you uh, aspire to. And, uh, and your perseverance will be rewarded with, uh, um, with this success, with this um, uh, positive uh, downfall um, of abundance, prosperity that has been coming up in this reading over and over. So let me now get another message for you. So this is um, the Sea Oracle. I want to see what the Sea Oracle wants to speak about to you today. So uh, for the viewers, what is the message? Allow. May you soften into what is. So uh, this is really a message about um, letting go of those fears, of those insecurities that we were speaking, speaking about at the beginning. And allowing things to happen naturally. Um, you know, sometimes when, when we see things don't, don't go exactly as we want them to be, we uh, start getting into our head, we start getting into our fears, and that doesn't really make us happy. And, um, and you know, um, this is a call to let this all go. And for you to soften to you know because the queen of swords energy is very can be very harsh at times and so um sometimes you need to soften into a more gentle energy um this is a, a call from spirit to soften in a in a softer energy and uh, yes i feel that this is really the message that um is coming out um, because the Queen of Swords came out twice, and um, so you, you can get very, uh, very much um, into your head again, like the swords, you know, the thoughts get into your head and and kind of um, become really like um, going to alert, going to a mod modality of alert, and uh, that needs to kind of be like go and softened. So <laughs> this message is for me. Um, let's see. Powerful. May you be as potent as the ocean. Yes, you are powerful. And, um, and you know, this power um, will, um, will, I think, will show even more when you actually um, maintain a balance between this uh, active side and the soft side of you which is there, but uh, sometimes um, gets pushed down because it's the vulnerable side. And so when you feel like um, you don't have that kind of, uh, let's say, control over something, you then feel like this vulnerable side that you might have exposed, you feel like it could be um, really hurt. And so then you put your sword up like the Queen of Swords. And uh, the thing is that uh, at that point in time, though, although you, you want to feel in your power like the Queen of Swords, actually this the fact that um, you don't allow your soft side um, to be fully present, then kind of takes off of your power. So... This powerful card that's coming up here, I think it's a reminder of uh, remaining in your power, even uh, uh, in your soft side. And I know it's not uh, the easiest thing to do, um, especially if you've been uh, hurt in the past, but uh, that's something that Spirit is calling you to do. Let's see, what else? Magic. May you flow with the divine. Yeah. So, this is uh, on point. Because, you see, the thing is, the divine, the divine uh, is, um, 
as a plan, like as um, a direction for you. Okay, so the, the divine always universe, the universe and the forces of, of the universe, they have a direction for you. And so this is a call for you to flow, to soften in this flow of life and to trust, you know, to trust it. And, you know, it's not easy sometimes to trust it. Because we want to feel like we have the reins in our hands to make sure that everything goes accordingly to what we want. But um, it doesn't really work that way. Okay, so um, there are things that are out of our hands and we need to accept that and we need to be able to um, let this uh, flow naturally. Uh, because whatever is meant for you is not going to pass you by and whatever is um, you know supposed to happen uh, needs to take place uh, for your soul's growth so um, th there has to be this um, allowing things to happen as they need as they do um, and uh, it can be challenging but uh, that's um, that's that's you know what life is uh, I think all about I see pause at the bottom. May moments of calm sustain you. Yeah, take a pause. Take a pause whenever you need from everything, you know. Um, create that space for yourself where you can just be with your own presence and um, really reconnect with yourself and um, recollect your own energies. Because it's, it's very beautiful to exchange energies with um, the people around us and, you know, and uh, whatever is going on around us. But um, sometimes we just need a moment to ourselves to kind of um, breathe and, um, and just allow us to have a moment of reflection, a pause, uh, and just take a breather. You know, take a, take a nice breather for yourself. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to now consult the Law of Positivism deck, Oracle deck. It's a healing Oracle deck. Um, and this is um, just another, uh, you know, this is to understand um, what is best for you right now. What is that you need most to work on? So let's see. Or wants to come out so spirit what does what do the viewers need to work on mostly currently okay these two are coming 44 in prayer i commune with the universe as my dearest friend so yes this is again um talking about uh, taking that pause for yourself um allowing you to yourself to be with yourself and um, even in a prayer state you know in a prayer because the universe is your dearest friend so uh, by reconnecting to source you can refine yourself when you feel a little bit lost and um, yeah that's what uh, this is calling to and then I connect with the strength and wisdom of my ancestors. Yes, this is all about connecting with um, the spiritual forces that are there to support you. So call on to your ancestors whenever you need it and uh, ask for their support. What else? Let's see. What else uh, is currently important for the viewers? Through faith and hope, I am divinely guided on my path. Again, this message of having faith and hope for the future, um, it's really important because through this faith and hope, cultivating these feelings of faith and hope, you will uh, understand better your path. The direction that you need to take 
and you will be divinely guided. I see all these cards are about your spiritual body. Um, so you're currently either working on your uh, spiritual body more than anything else. Or this is what you need to do. Take it as it resonates. And then I have here at the bottom. I focus my thoughts on abundance and gratitude. Yes. So uh, this is again a call to... Um, have faith and hope that this abundance is coming in your life and be great, being grateful about the blessings you already have in your life all the beautiful things that you already have accomplished all the beautiful things that you already have in your life even your own body being, being thankful for your health whatever it is that you currently have um you know any anything at all you can think of and that we sometimes might, may take for granted you know um even if your health is not perfect there is still uh, some other part of your body that is still healthy and that we can be grateful for if you know what i mean so i know sometimes life can be hard and um you know bringing us things that we don't really we shouldn't desire for, but there are other things which uh, are though beautiful. So this card is um, talking about um, um, acknowledging those beautiful things. So uh, let's have a look now with another deck. Okay, so what does this um, flowers deck want to... Tell us today. Let's see. Orange blossom, enthusiasm, the best can be here, believe it. Yes, it's about uh, being enthusiastic about what's, uh, what's coming, about, uh, yeah, about what's already here and also what's coming. And that, uh, again, it says believe it. Again, there is this faith, this sense of uh, believing in uh, that good things can take place in your life. Let's see more. What does this flower deck want to tell us today? Agapanthus, words of love, speak with your heart. Yeah, so this is about opening your heart and um, speaking words of love and being honest about your feelings, especially if you're connected with somebody, you know, um, do not be afraid about opening up your heart. And Peruvian lily, strength, more effort will get you what you want. Yes, this is about that uh, lion that came up, you know, with the take action and and uh, be strong and, you know, that kind of message that came since the beginning of the tarot spread when we had the strength card. So it's about being strong and strong doesn't mean uh, being overly protective. Strong means as well um, being able to be vulnerable. White carnation, devotion, be true and pure in your thoughts and deed. Yeah, so um, do not be afraid of being truthful um, and uh, speaking your pure thoughts and, and, uh, and acting accordingly. And bird of paradise, self-acceptance. You are so much more. So look at yourself as um, the beautiful being that you are. Um, and uh, this is um, basically t talking about uh, realizing um, how beautiful you are as a, as a human being. 
and accepting yourself with all your flaws as well and uh, you're so much more probably than you already thought you were this is the message here let's see the bottom picture plant inside the answers are there for those who look so um this is a uh, telling to look for the answers you need to search them uh, within yourself first of all and um, yeah because inside is going within you know um, so take that moment to yourself where um, you help yourself uh, reflect on what uh, you need to adjust in your life and even within yourself within your spirit within your own soul okay let me get another deck okay so this is the divine doors deck so what doors are opening for um, the viewers? Okay, look at this door. It's very peculiar. Looks nearly like a tunnel. <laughs> Silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditations, grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Yes, exactly. You see, this is, this is exactly what we said earlier. When I said take a breather and uh, let go of doubt, uh, that was the message about uh, being vulnerable and letting go of um, this controlling attitude uh, that is brought up from doubts doubts of your value doubts of uh, how much other people value you doubts about uh, what you really can achieve in life or uh, receive in life and uh, and this is a call for meditation in meditation's grace the soul can unwind so again, there is that moment of prayer and uh, taking time to yourself to rebalance, I think. Unpack your mind. Don't be too much in your head. Like the Queen of Swords, you know, with the thoughts and uh, kind of um, overthinking. Just let this, this flow of life run through you freely. And come out of this uh, mental prison that I see from this tunnel. What else? Begin here. Wow, look at this. Amazing. Do not fear what the travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now, here. So. You might be traveling soon. And do not fear what this travel can bring. Uh, and enjoy the moment. Like, the moment is yours. Catch uh, that moment. Like, um, live within, them, the, within each moment and try to make the most of it. Try to be as happy as you can be in every single moment. And don't get in your head. Begin now here. So there is a beginning that I see happening for you. There is this prosperity coming. What doors are opening? Patience. Everything soon will come to light. And then you will see things will be all right. So. The thing is. If you had these doubts that I can see coming up several times, everything soon will come to light. And uh, then you will realize that everything is all right. That everything that you doubted, everything that you were fearing is actually fine. So be patient with yourself in this process. And this is the what the door looks like. Let's see the bottom of the deck door. Destiny. Wow. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel through. So yes, again, there is that, this sense of uh, going with the flow of things. The divine has got his plan for you. 
and uh, its plan and uh, so let let these plans just uh, unravel in their truth and uh, if a door closes another will open don't be worrying about that there you go okay let me see if there is anything else yeah i'm going to consult one last oracle deck okay so spirit please tell us the last messages that the viewers need to hear today expression this is again about um, not being afraid of expressing yourself your feelings your thoughts to you know to in general in general like it could be at work it could be in relation to this person that uh, i see coming in your life or already being in your life it's about uh, letting uh, this flow of thoughts and feelings just go and um, even the expression of yourself like um, express yourself in the world just as you are because it's a, it's a be beautiful uh, thing and that can make you really grow I see all these butterflies. What else? Reflection. Take time to reflect if you need it. Take time to yourself. You don't need to be always um, available to others. Sometimes you just need time to yourself. Sometimes you need to close that door and just retreat and um be in your own energy and that that will bring you a lot of restoration of yourself because um for as beautiful it is, as it is um interacting with others sometimes um we need to recollect our own energy that's what i see here let's see the bottom power the power again you are a powerful being and you just need to believe um fully about this um, there is a lot of uh, uh, energy of power that's coming through here in this reading with the lion, with the strength card, with uh, this power card, with the other card of the ocean that came talking about the power of the ocean. So may you be powerful as the ocean. So really this is about um, embracing your own power and um, never being um, doubtful of, of it. Uh, really conquering your uh, doubts and fears tame those demons as we said at the beginnings at the beginning of the reading and uh, and just continue on your path with uh, full force um, yeah just you know in the most beautiful way and uh, the most joyous way as well and, uh, and in a soft way as we saw so I hope uh, this message uh, helped uh, somebody out there that was watching this uh, if you did please uh, like the, the reading and uh, if you'd like to comment uh, let me know if this um, helped you in any way I would love to know uh, also please um, subscribe to the channel if you would like to support me and if you, li you like my readings my style um, and share it if you think anybody would benefit from watching this thank you so much everyone and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.